Can the laws of physics also predict the choices that people make? Are there fundamental rules that, when everything is set in motion from a given starting position, lead us inevitably to one and only one possible outcome? Einstein thought so. His theory of relativity tells us we live in something called a block universe, in which all of space and all of time are laid out like a roll of film, where the past, present, and future all exist at once. This, Ken says, means the future can affect the past just as the past affects the future. The future is not just some series of random events. There are correlations between the present and the future that we can predict. That's what science does. And in the course of making these predictions, it's more natural to think of the universe as being one continuous structure rather than being a bunch of frames cut up and spread all over the floor. Ken believes that all events, even quantum events, have a definite starting point and a definite ending point. But there is uncertainty in what happens in between. The way to make sense of this is retrocausality. The idea that it is our future choice that causes that uncertainty. Retrocausality means the future affects the past. The beginning and ending of events are fixed in time. But Ken argues quantum physics creates flexibility in the middle. And that flexibility offers us the chance to control our fate. In the Newtonian clockwork universe, the initial state and the laws determine everything there is. There's no freedom given the initial state. In a time-symmetric universe, it's not obvious that that's true, because if something is dependent not only on the initial state, but equally on the final state, now those intermediate events aren't predetermined in the sense they're not determined by the initial state. They might eventually be determined, but there's more wiggle room for free will. In other words, the end points of our fates may be fixed, but we don't know how precisely we will reach them. I don't know what I'm going to decide in one minute. And yet, that decision will be made. It will be determined. So there's a perfect example of something that I don't know and is not possibly not determined just by the past, but nevertheless will eventually be determined.